Alright, welcome back to More Than Peaches Gaming. I'm your host, Mooney, and today I have the biggest surprise. Okay, so this is the big surprise. So we have an entire case of Opus 12. So we're going to be going through quite a few things on this. Uh, mainly we want to focus on things like, do you actually get one of every foil per case? Do you get three of every non-foil like legend and hero in a case and what are your chances of actually getting your full arts in a case so we all know that you get like uh between like one and like three full arts per box i'm not really sure how many there are in this set but enough to be you know significant and we're hunting down shantoto let's just be honest we're hunting down that shantoto because she's worth a lot, she's a collector's item, it's a big deal. But at the same time, I already opened up my pre-release kit. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Uh, it is kind of an interesting story. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and crack this thing open. It is still sealed. Oh, man, this thing is big. Uh, I'm going to cut from the top. Oof. You guys can't really see this, which is disappointing. I made sure that uh, when I went to go pick it up, it was all here because yeah, this is this is a big box. Okay, so got this one open, got this side open, and this. All right. So first things first, they come in the box facing one direction. Uh, I'm taking from the top, bottom one, so bottom facing. So it will be that, and I'm just gonna put them in a stack in that order. That way I remember which box they came from in case anybody wants to try to map these, which I don't know if they're ma mappable, but they might be. We, we never know. We're, we're not experts, you know, and I know some collectors, if there is mapping, they're going to try to map the boxes rather than a pack because you never know when you go to a store if you know, packs have been shuffled, or if people have bought from the packs. So, uh, so the way that they came out, this one was like that, that, and that. So we have those that stack, and then we have that, that, and that stack. Okay, so we got them all stacked up, uh, like so. And yeah, that is the craziness of this. Now, the better question is, what's in them? Do we want to try to start opening them? Ooh, man, it's a tough decision. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start. So, we're going to start with the top one. Ugh. I'm sorry if it seems weird that I, I kind of removed it from camera view, but I had to maneuver it. Uh, I did not buy any more boxes, just heads up. Uh, because if I bought any more boxes, my bank account would be crying, and so would everybody else. <laughs> So, uh, so the better question is, how worthwhile is a set? How expensive should this set be? And should we consider the set awesome? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to pop it open. I know our promo card, I believe, is Yuna. Right on top. There she is. And all of her uh, gunslinger uh, glory. She is a gold wings uh, job. Okay, so I'm gonna move that baby off to the side. And then we have all these packs. Uh, they did get shifted around a little bit, so I'm not really too sure where they all belong. So I'm gonna guess, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's not from this stack. Let's see if it's from the middle stack. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It's not from this stack. So probably from the left stack. Unless I got an extra pack. Which is entirely possible. So. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Nope. That's the correct amount. Okay. I was going to say it would be a major oversight by the company if they screwed that up. So I'm just going to set these off to the side a little bit. I'm just turning them sideways. On the side. I uh, don't know if you guys can see them very well. Probably not. I'll move them a little bit closer. That way you can kind of see where I'm grabbing from. So I'm grabbing from uh, the rightmost stack. 
And I'm just gonna go to town. Oh my god. Heavy. Okay. So. The goal is get what we need. Oh, I already know what the foil is. So we got Shantoto, Ogre, and so forth. So we're just gonna jump straight to the foils because, yeah, that's just how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna make stacks on my side. That way I don't lose track of where I am. So we got our foil realm. And we got our hero Enkidu. And we got our three rares. Cool. Doing good. All right. So every one of these boxes, uh, except for, I think it's like Opus 1, you should get uh, three of every common and rare. So we start off with the Boko. And we get Eduardo, a hero. Eduardo is not that great of a card. <laughs> not gonna lie. He has a interesting ability. Um, it's a, God, what do you call it? Uh, special ability. Uh, and it costs like five ice, break all dull backups. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck pulling that off with him. I mean, I guess... The positive note is you don't have to dull him to use that ability. So you can do it right away. Uh, so you can just do it really quickly. And hopefully your opponent doesn't have a Diabolus in their hand to basically activate all their backups. We got a couple Galif for a hero. And we got our first legend, which is Gilgamesh. Oh boy, we're on this track. <laughs> Please don't tell me the next one is another repeat. I don't like repeat uh, legends all that much, so jump straight in. We got Lonnie for our foil, and our next card is uh, Lena. Oh, starting in strong with that Final Fantasy V vibe. Lena is definitely the. Uh, card I wanted printed, but not to this degree. We got Iris. She's a rare. And we got our first Quacho Queen. I am super stoked about Quacho Queen. If you didn't see my previous video, I absolutely want that card full art. Uh, but that's also because I collect World of Final Fantasy cards. Uh, <sighs> Alright. We got Yuna. Foil. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think this card's really worth all that much because it's printed as a um, as a box topper. Oh yeah, and I got Magisa. Magisa? Yeah. Uh, interesting card. I'd, I'd probably never run it. Eh, maybe. All right. Diabolo Spoil. Forza. Yeah. Goblin Princess, our first World of Final Fantasy uh, fire character for the set. So, second one that we pulled. Uh, interesting character. I was really hoping we got more World of Final Fantasy characters. So. I mean, we still haven't got a uh, Princess Sarah. So that, that's kind of disappointing. Bell. Not. He's our hero. Oh yeah, Chocolate. But good to see her. She's actually a really good card. We need way more wind for World of Final Fantasy, but we need we definitely need more water because the only water card we have is Quacha Queen. <laughs> we also need summons of some kind. So I guess. And Sildra. Woo. As for summons, that's what I get. I, I don't know why, but I'm having an itchy feeling about this one. Alexander. And Tenzin. He is our legend. Woo. We're already three legends in, and we haven't even opened up a third of the box, which, which is good, but we, don't, we haven't pulled any foil legends. We haven't pulled any uh, full arts. Interesting. 
Shadow Lord, he's a foil rare. And Odin is our hero. Alright. Yeah. Dragoon. Common. Delif. Hero. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so we're starting on the second stack. We got a third of the way through the box. Alright, so. Bane. And. Need. Alright. Again, we're. We are hunting down a few Final Fantasy V cards. I don't know why. We are definitely hoping for everything. Another mead. This one's foil. And Esh... Esh... Uh, Nartarl? Sorry, I cannot pronounce that. I. It's really tricky when they put the apostrophe in there and it's a name that I'm not familiar with. Uh, for anybody who's ever watched any of my other videos, non-Final Fantasy related, I will butcher names. I am so sorry. Gipal. I just saw a combo with this guy. Uh, Amaterasu. X-Death. Hey, look, X-Death. <laughs> not, not, not Neo X-Death, just X-Death. Chillin', right there. Now, it'd be really awesome if they actually had an X-Death to search for Neo X-Death. Ninja. This is actually a pretty foil, not gonna lie. Ash is our legend. Ooh. So far, four legends. Uh, this is right, I guess. Uh, this is what it should be. Uh, we're about... We're almost about halfway through the box, and we've already got four of our seven legends. Only, uh... Althena. And Nada. <laughs> Sorry. I just say Nada to Bahamut. Or is it Bahamut? Or am I mispronouncing it? You guys gotta tell me. I'm, I'm really curious. Our first full art. Only, a. Awkward. That was in the previous pack. And then Argy, the card that causes all sorts of problems. You can't keep a lightning deck down with Argy if you, your opponent's using ice. Crystal Exxon. Nice little rare. And then we have a Bartz. So, Bartz. It's funny that I pulled Gilgamesh before Bartz, but, but Bartz is the main protagonist. That's their logic. Carbuncle Hero, oh, Princess Goblin, that's good to see. Okay, let's see, let's what we pull here, White Mage, Ferris, first one of those. We are definitely pulling those Warrior of Lights from Final Fantasy V, which is good. Jer... Jagrin? Yeah, Jagrin. Uh, kinda cool. Lonnie. Again, we still have not pulled a Foil Legend, which is disheartening. Prish, which is a common. Forgan, which is a really good pull in limited. I don't know how he fares in uh, standard. Yeah, you're asking the wrong person. Neo X Death Foil. This is my first foil legend. I am stoked about that. Uh, and then Beatrice. So, foil like Neo X Death? Whew, yeah. Basically, he is the card that everybody is after, which I am kind of happy about. You know, a Final Fantasy card other than the original Lena. And there's the pain and Bart's. All right, so we're to the final stack. So we're two thirds of the way through the box. We've only pulled four non-foil legends. This is weird. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a Scholar foil. Yeah, it, 
I think the foils have additional patterns than the original ones, so that's kind of cool. Another carbuncle. That's Indiana, huh? I forgot they reprint or they made a new one of her. The old one was pretty good. Snow. And another Lonnie. So I'm, I'm definitely getting some repeat heroes, which is kind of annoying. But, again, according to the case's logic, I should get no more than three of every hero. Uh, Monk? Kryle is my next legend. Alright, so... Who haven't we gotten? Yeah, our legend slot. God, there's so many cards. I can't even, I don't even know all the legends now that I think about it. Regular Neo X death, I guess. <laughs> Warrior, and then another Borgen. That guy loves me. All right, so, uh, Shikari Y and a Beatrice. Heard the Shikaris uh, are actually really good, uh, especially in limited, uh, but. They're, they're decent even in um, uh, standard. All right, we got Freya. Freya is a common. I meant sh uh, such. Yeah, I think he's. This is a pre release card. So he's off a little bit better than Yuna in price. Uh, though I think Yuna is still more desirable. I'm not gonna try to pronounce her name. <laughs> Instant Previa. Four packs left, and we are still missing two legends. So, my guess is that there should be a legend in the next couple of packs. Samurai. And we got our first legend, Yishtola. So we're missing one more legend, and hopefully, Full art or uh, foil legend because right now this box is not looking so great other than the Neo X death because I don't I don't think the rest of them are actually doing so hot. Man, this pack uh, does not want to let go. So we got a Blue Mage <laughs> and a Fenrir. All that work for that that those cards, man. I thought for sure with as hard as I was trying to open that. I was going to get lucky. Well, Carbuncle. And Diablos. So, in this very last pack, there is a legend. Can you believe that? The very last pack has a legend in it. And who knows about the foil? We're going to open it up the best we can. Oh, man. That cornering. We got a full art realm, which we knew we were probably going to get into the full art, and a Strago. Okay, what's going on? Did I miss a legend? Okay, I'm going to go through my heroes real quick to make sure I didn't miss one. Because this is crazy. D did I miss a legend that I was not aware of? Oh, Ferris is a legend. I did not know that. Huh. Making sure I didn't miss any others. I thought for sure that Ferris was just a hero. I'm going to double check through my foils real quick to make sure I didn't miss any legends because sometimes, you know, I just pass over them thinking that they're common or rare because they don't look particularly worthy, as I would put it. Um... Oh yeah, I got, I got Yuna. I forgot I got that. I forgot that she was a legend. See? That, that, that's the important part. Remember how I said, you know, Yuna is probably not going to be worth a whole lot? Yeah, that's probably the case. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick cleanup. Give me one second. Alright, so we're on box two now that we've cleaned up our area a little bit.
So again, I'm gonna crack this open. Ugh. I'm hoping I have enough time to get through all these, but man, I have other plants here very soon. And this is the release weekend, so I wanna make sure I get this out there as quickly as I can, assuming that everything works properly. Plop that down there, take out my Yuna. Anybody who's interested in getting Yunas or other box toppers from previous opuses, you can always hit me up on the Facebook group for the Marketplace for Final Fantasy. Uh, I do post uh, lots of, uh, I have lots of stuff, should I say, for trade. I always put it in a Google Doc spreadsheet, that way people can find it and navigate it. And there's tons of stuff I need from various stuff. Oops, uh, moving up my chair, and we're cracking right in. And just be aware that um, if I don't think there's enough time, I will stop halfway through this uh, video, and I will just upload this as a two-parter. So we're starting off with Carbuncle. So right now, I'm already disproving something because I got a foil Carbuncle in my last box. So let's keep moving. And we got a Hustola right from the get-go. That wasn't a bad pack at all. We got a monk and an Argy. Yeah. And then Regis. He's a foil legend. And Forza. Motorsport. It'd be better if he actually had haste. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, we got Scholar again. Th this feels a lot like my previous box. Isn't this strange? Except for the Regis, obviously. Ah. Yep, yeah, I'm getting... S I'm getting... Really? So this can still happen, just a heads up. You can get two of the same card, uh, foil and non-foil, and that was a hero, so that, that's why I was like, whoa, that was unexpected. I remember back in Opus 4 I got a uh, foil lock and a non-foil lock in the same pack during a draft, and I had to pass one of them. I chose to pass the non-foil. <laughs> the next person's like, why did you pass this? I was like, because I got a foil one. And they're like, oh. They're like, well, I'm taking this one. I'm like, that's the name of the game. If you want to take it, take it. Take him for value. There's Pain. And Althea. Or Althea. Sorry, not Althea. Um, another Foil Snow. Soldier. Right now, I'm not looking very uh, happy at this case what the fuck <laughs> also i'm using that bomb because yes i'm gonna make this marked as not for children but uh again trying to keep this uh somewhat family friendly we got Locke. he is a legend awesome see we're getting slightly different legends but man our foils are looking a lot alike as previous box uh shikari why didn't i didn't I get him in the last box and a Tenzin? I hope there's an explanation. <laughs> okay. Riku. Again, I keep saying this, you can get the same card in the same pack. Doesn't matter if it's a hero or not. And we get a foil ash. Cool. Goblin. Princess Goblin. All right, on to the second stack. We are a third of the way through the box. We got two foil legends and a uh, three non-foils. Oh, hey, look, speak of the devil. 
another foil legend and Barts. We got a foil Gilligan mesh. So that was a five loaded pack with uh, rivals. Well, Gilligan mesh would consider Barts a rival. I don't know if Barts would consider Gilligan mesh a rival. Probably not. Yeah. God damn. Boko. Carbuncle. I also think it's kind of cool that uh, Boko actually has somewhat of a personality. And it seems like almost all the protagonists in that uh, game found love in some way or form. Here's a foil Gala. And Lonnie. Again, I'm hoping that I pull <laughs> my Waff character's foil. I guess. Sid Previa. God, I have so many Sids. Sids and yeah, Galaths. <laughs> Yay. And Foil Realm with Fenrir. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast for everybody. I am kind of in a slight hurry. Because that's just the name of the game. Foil Shadow Lord. Not Foil Ash. That makes two Ashes I have and two Yushtolas and two Tenzins. Locke was the only new uh, non-foil legend it, from the previous box to this box. Dragoon. And Dubolos. I seriously, every time I look at Noctis, I keep on thinking that he's a legend and he's just a rare. <laughs> because he's multicolored, just like this Shantoto. I keep on thinking that it's a legend. Foil Lani. There we go. All right. Ooh. So we got Freya, Foil Freya, and a Borgen. All right. We got a foil iris. No, nope, she's a rare. We got a Lena. So we're at five. And right now we're still at uh, only one new legend out of these two boxes. Uh, one differing legend. Uh, I believe the last box had a Ferris. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember what else was in that box. Cryo, I think it was. Uh, yeah. Th th those were the the differences. Uh, all right. Blue Mage. Another foil one of those. Wow. Beatrice. I, I do like that there's a bit of uh, randomness here. Hey, Full Art Lonnie. Um, ugh, put that way up there so that way I don't lose it and need. <laughs> all right. To the last... Stack. Oof. Take a little while to do this. Summoner. Come on. Nagisa. Nagisa. <laughs> so we got our money. Uh, let's see. I swear that there was a different legend other than that. We got Ninja. Alert Ninja. Right, Snow. And so far, it's been kind of, I don't know, how do I put it, lackluster on uh, what we're getting. Uh, Lail and Mead. Or Sid, not Mead. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. I, I think it is pronounced uh, Mead and not Mid, because that, that's the way it was pronounced in Legend of the Crystals. So, Amaterasu. Nice foil. Thank you, dude. Ah. So far, I haven't got any of those lottery cards. <laughs> I haven't got a single reprint yet. Ninja. Wardo. Man, we're already approaching 30 minutes. Gee. 
Beatrice. And non-foil Gizlemish. All right. So, yeah, that's... I want to make sure I'm looking at my previous box. Yeah. Uh, still only have the, the Kryl and the Ferris that are different uh, from the lock. Yeah, well, otherwise, all of the legends are the same. Which is kind of annoying, honestly. But, we'll see. Behemoth. Quasho Queen. I think that's only my second one of those. But. Ah. Ninja. Well, that's a different foil ninja. Fen rare. So far I'm at six legends. That means I'm in the last four packs. There should be one more legend. And hopefully another full art. Chanel. Oh my god. Bolas. Again, this might be a situation where I went over the legend and didn't even realize it. <laughs> I'm hoping not. I'm really bad at that. Glaive. And, oh god, how do you say his name? Uh, Celteus. So that's our final non-foil legend. Okay, so, so far I've, I have a variance of two legends. <laughs> that's it. From the two boxes. That's kind of annoying. Foil Barts. Strago. And then, let's see what we do here. Yeah. This is the last pack. I'm hoping we get something good. Ogre. And Barts. Yep. Uh, so, again, our foil legends, uh, Regis Ash and Gilgamesh. All right. So I'm going to do another quick cleanup, uh, but I do want to point out these are both fire characters for full arts. They're Ninja and Ronnie. Uh, I think in the previous box uh, was... Uh, a water and an ice so th there there is a little bit of variance which is nice uh, but I don't know what's gonna happen I so far I, I don't think I've had any repeat foil legends so that's that's a plus so uh, I'm gonna clean this up again so hold on one second we'll get to box three there we are all right so we're on box three got it all cleaned up so box three and again it's taken a while <laughs> because, yep, yeah. that's what happens when you get new stuff. You take your time. I don't have time, so I'm going right to town on it. Okay. Ugh, man. 